Okay, so we're now going to be generalizing this to talk about how many interventions are sufficient and necessary to identify general graphs for arbitrary numbers of variables. And something that's going to be useful for us to know for figuring out how many interventions are necessary is to know what the sort of worst case graph structure is. And that's complete graphs. Recall that complete graphs are graphs where there is an edge between every pair of variables. And these graphs, if you look at their independencies that they encode, if you have the Markov assumption, these graphs encode no independencies. To see why complete graphs are the worst, recall this very important theorem, which states that two graphs are Markov equivalent if and only if they have the same skeleton and same immoralities, where the skeleton is just when you take all the edges and you undirect them, that's the skeleton of the graph. And an immorality is where you have two parents that share a child but don't have an edge between them. So this theorem tells us that immoralities are really important, right? They're the only things that allow us to, from observational, orient edges in the graph, right? So that the Markov equivalence class will have some edges oriented if there are immoralities where by Markov equivalence class here, I mean the essential graph, which is a graphical representation of the Markov equivalence class. But in complete graphs, there are no immoralities. So with those graphs, we can't orient any of the edges. All we can do is get the skeleton graph, and the skeleton of a complete graph is a graph where there is an undirected edge between every pair of variables. So that's the essential graph we're working with when we have complete graphs. It's got edges everywhere, and none of them are oriented. And this is the worst case graph, because there's lots of edges that are not oriented, right? There's n choose two edges that need to be directed to identify the causal graph, where n is the number of variables. And to convince you that there's no immoralities, consider this immorality. So say this is somewhere in the graph. It turns out that this can't be in a complete graph, because there's no edge between a and b. A complete graph has an edge between every pair of variables, so you can't have this immorality in the graph. Right, so that's just a graphical proof by contradiction that complete graphs must not have immoralities in them. Okay, so in summary, complete graphs are the worst case because they give us n choose two edges that need to be oriented by interventions. Right, that's the most edges that you can imagine needing to be oriented and we're going to need to do it with interventions. This worst case is important to have in mind for when we try to get the necessary number of interventions for the worst case. Okay, so two slides ago, we saw how many interventions we needed to identify the graph when we have two variables, and now we'll look at the three-variable case. We'll use the complete graph, since that's the worst case. So we have nodes A, B, and C, where there's an edge between any pair of them. If we were to do an intervention on C, then we'll be removing these arrows from A to C and B to C, because those are the parents of C, and interventions get rid of the parents. So then the essential graph of the remaining graph there, so the remaining graph is just an edge from A to B, the essential graph there is just going to be this, here where we have an undirected edge between A and B, and no edges to C. That's the interventional essential graph we get if we look at the data after we've intervened on C. Recall that we specified what we mean by this kind of an intervention a few slides ago in terms of the structural equations. All right, so what have we learned so far? We've learned this interventional essential graph. And importantly, this tells us that there's no edge from C to A, and there's no edge from A to B. Right, it tells us that because if there were, then we would have detected that A and C are dependent. But we didn't detect that in the interventional graph where we intervened on C because that removes the edges from C to A. And since we knew that we were intervening on C, that means that either there was no edge between A and C in the true graph, so remember we don't know the true graph, tells us that there either was no edge from A to C, or there is an edge from 
A to C, right? It tells us that there's no edge from C to A. And similarly, that there's no edge from C to B. And since there's this edge in the interventional graph between A and B, in other words, we detected that A and B are dependent on each other after we've intervened on C, then we know that A and B are connected, right? There must be either an edge from A to B or an edge from B to A in the true graph. Okay, so that's what we've learned from one intervention. We haven't been able to identify the graph yet. Let's try another intervention where we intervene on B. So this intervention is going to cut the arrow from A to B, which leaves us with an immorality, actually. So now we have the immorality A and B as a parents of C, and then the interventional essential graph there will be the actual immorality, since we can detect immoralities, according to that theorem that we just saw and stuff that we saw last week. Okay, so now we know three more for things. The first two is that we know now that we have an edge from A to C and B to C. Okay, so that's because we detected this immorality here. We've oriented these two edges. But importantly, we've also learned that there's no edge from B to A. It's for the same reason we learned that there's no edge from C to A and C to B on the last one, because we intervened on C there, and now we're intervening on B. So we know that either there's no edge from between B and A in the true graph, or there's an edge from A to B in the true graph, and it was just cut because we intervened on C. That's what we know from this intervention on B. But the intervention on C told us that there is an edge between A and B. So we know there's an edge between A and B, we just don't know the direction from this intervention on C. And then this intervention tells us that there's no edge from a B to A. So that means that there must be an edge from A to B. So using these two interventions, we've discovered the true causal graph. So we've shown that these two interventions are sufficient to identify this graph in the three variable case, and this is the worst case graph. And you can show that if we used any other two interventions, those would have been sufficient to identify the three variable graph. So that means that two interventions are sufficient to identify three variable graphs.